hello everybody thanks for watching this knife i have in front of us today is the new baron sun 110 slip joint folder so this knife has some very nice aluminum handles comes in multiple colors and is meant to be an all-around edc knife and so when i first saw this knife i actually had to take a second glance at it because it looked very familiar to me the form factor of this knife actually has appeared before and so i'm kind of interested if they got their design based on it but if you've ever heard of the James brand, they are also a relatively new knife company. They came out with a small folder similar to this one called the Elko. And so the Elko, it looks very similar in form factor, although the Elko is meant to be a small keychain knife. And so when I saw that Baron Sun released this knife model right here, I noticed it looked very similar, although there are some differences, of course. This knife right here on the table in front of you, is a little bit larger than the Elko. I don't think it's meant to be a keychain knife in that the blade is 2.3 inches long, but it does have a lot of the other familiar features of that knife. So we do have a slip joint action, uh, which is very smooth. It does not take two hands to open, so it's kind of cool to have a slip joint that can be manipulated with one hand. So that's great. Um, it also does have a deep carry pocket clip. So again, that's something that I believe the Elko does not have. Um, so we have a deep carry pocket clip on the Baron Sun. And we also have a lanyard loop at the back. And so what's interesting about this as well is that the Baron Sun put this loop on the back, whereas on the Elko, this same loop is there, but it's also used as a, either a chisel or a flat edge screwdriver. So kind of interesting to see the difference there. So beyond that, this knife being made in the USA by Baron Sun, they did not tell us the type of steel they used. They just said stainless. So we can likely assume it's a very low end, you know, high carbon stainless steel um, like you would get on inexpensive cutlery. And so overall, this knife price comes in at $20. And so for the $20 price, you kind of expect you're not going to get something too fancy. Um, but it does have a very nice satin finish. So very nice mirror looking polish there near. Um, of course, the downside of that very nice shiny blade is that it picks up fingerprints like crazy. Uh, but again, that's just a visual thing. They kept it very subdued with the design. The only thing you see on it is the logo on the blade itself. There are no other markings anywhere on the knife. Uh, beyond that though, the action, like I said, is very smooth. The, the lock bar is very flush and it's very easy to open and close one-handed. So very cool to look at. It does come in five different colors. We have a blue, like I have here on the table. There is a black, a red, an orange, and I believe a yellow also. And so they arrived, this, this knife has arrived at a very low price, 20 bucks. And so I originally learned of this knife from the knife let me see what the name of the website is it is the knife newsroom which i believe that's just a blog for smoky mountain knife works and so again i do shop there occasionally but um, what's interesting about this knife is they published this blog post talking about this knife and then they didn't even have any in stock so i went ahead and i i think i actually bought this one from knife center because they had them in stock at the time so if you wait until one of the weekends when knife center does some free shipping uh, you can get this knife for $20 shipped to your door. And is it worth it or not? Yeah, I don't know. Um, we can see come some comparisons here. Um, I also have a Kershaw Blur to compare it to. So a nice full-size knife. And we can also compare it to the Kershaw Launch 4, which again is also a beautiful blue anodized aluminum. Um, slightly smaller, so you can see the size comparison between these three knives. But with the deep carry pocket clip, I think this is one that might be useful for everyday carry. What I kind of think of this as is kind of like a, it's about the same size as a Swiss Army knife. And it, while it's only one blade, the blade is also much larger and much more capable than what you would get in a, most Swiss Army knives. So again, I think it has a purpose. 
Um, I do wish that Baron's son would give some credit to the James brand because I believe the Elko came out far sooner than this one did. And it looks so, so similar. I, I ha hate to say it, but it's pretty much a copy of that knife. Um, so it'd be nice if they gave some credit. But that being said, um, this is the Bear and Son Cutlery 110 BL. So 3 and 7 eighths inches closed. I love the new packaging design Bear and Son has. Um, but again, small knife, small price. Do you think it's worth it? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.